How are diamonds formed? I found an excellent uh, article called How Do Diamonds Form um, by Dr. Hobart M. King. And he talks about um, the fact that diamonds found at or near Earth's surface have formed through four different processes. This cartoon drawing presents these four methods of diamond formation. And then we're gonna go through them in a little bit more detail in just a moment. So the first one, number one here, is where diamond is formed in the Earth's mantle and then it's brought up through um, the movement of lava up to the surface. The second, down here, is diamond formation in the subduction zone. So um, if you saw the video that um, I shared with you about plate tectonics, this plate is being pushed down under this continental plate. And as it goes down, this pressure and heat can form diamonds along this edge here. So anywhere where there's the yellow dots, that's where there's diamonds or could be diamonds. Um, number three is diamond formation um, at impact spots. So when asteroids or meteors fall from space, there is enough heat and pressure like there is here and here to um, form diamonds. So it can be at the surface, these are areas where that can happen. Diamond formation in Earth's mantle. Geologists believe that the diamonds in all of Earth's commercial diamond deposits, that means um, places where big companies are mining for diamonds, that they were formed in the mantle and delivered to the surface by deep source volcanic eruptions. So brought up from deep, deep in the Earth's mantle. This is about 90 miles down from the surface of the Earth. So it requires a tremendous amount of pressure and heat. Um, these eruptions produce these pipes. This is a pipes and they're called kimberlite or lamproite. And people who are looking for diamonds or places to start diamond mines will look for those two kinds of minerals because they know that's usually where um, diamonds occur. Most of these pipes do not contain diamond or contain such a small amount of diamond that they're not of commercial interest. However, open pit and underground mines are developed in these pipes when they contain enough diamonds for people to start a business um, and to try to, because it costs a lot of money to do mining. So um, they have to make sure that there's going to be diamonds there before they spend a lot of money getting all the equipment and the people there and digging a big pit to um, try to do um, mining in that area. Diamonds have also been weathered and eroded from some of these pipes. So um, as weathering causes a, a wearing away of some of this earth's crust, some of these pipes could be exposed. Um, and then those diamonds would get washed down into streams or to the coast. The formation of natural diamonds requires very high temperatures and pressures, where temperatures are at least 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The critical temperature pressure environment for diamond formation is not present around the world. Instead, it's thought to be primarily in the mantle beneath the stable interiors um, of continental plates. So here's the plates. These are what's moving. This is more stable. There's not as much movement happening there so the diamonds can be formed. They can be delivered to the Earth's surface during deep source volcanic eruptions that tear out pieces of the mantle and carry them rapidly to the surface. Uh, this type of volcanic eruption is extremely rare and has never been observed by modern humans. 
diamond formation in subduction zones. Tiny diamonds have been found in rocks that are thought to have been subducted, so sub meaning beneath, pulled beneath, deep into the mantle by plate tectonic processes and then returned to the surface. Diamond formation in a subducting plate might occur as little as 50 miles below the surface. So it's not as deep as some of those of, um, that we just learned about. Um, and they can be temperatures as low as 390 degrees Fahrenheit. In another study, diamonds from Brazil were found to contain tiny mineral pieces that were um, included with the diamonds that were the same kind of minerals <clears throat> that are present in the oceanic crust. So here's, the, that would be part of the plate. Others have um, inclusions or like um, uh, pieces inside of them that suggest that subducted seawater was involved in their formation. A more recent study looked at blue boron containing diamonds that formed at depths as great as 400 miles. These super deep diamonds also contained pieces that look like um, and appear to the scientists that they came from oceanic crust that had been subducted. Diamond formation at impact sites. Throughout its history, Earth has been repeatedly hit by large asteroids. When these asteroids strike the Earth, extreme temperatures and pressures are produced. For example, when a six mile wide asteroid strikes the Earth, it can be traveling at up to nine to 12 miles per second. Upon impact, that's when it hits, this intense speed of this object would produce an energy burst kind of like many nuclear weapons and temperatures hotter than the sun's surface. Wow, that is so hot. The high temperature and pressure conditions of such an impact are more than enough to form diamonds. This theory, so it's an idea that they don't know for certain, of diamond formation has been supported by the discovery of tiny diamonds around several asteroid impact sites. Tiny diamonds have been found at Meteor Crater in Arizona. Um, certain uh, industrial diamonds up to 13 millimeters in size have been formed at a crater in northern Siberia, Russia. Formation in space. So um, NASA researchers have detected large numbers of very small diamonds in some meteorites. So we talked about asteroids, which would be large rocks um, that are part of our solar system and stay in orbit around in the asteroid belt within the solar system. Um, but um, meteors are small fragments of those, maybe pieces of um, rocks that were once part of planets or large asteroids that have broken off and sometimes enter our atmosphere, they burn up due to friction uh, with the air, and they can land and create craters. Um, asteroids would create the giant um, craters um, from long, long, thousands and thousands of years ago. Um, but the meteorites might fall in small pieces, there can be many of them, and um, about 3% of the carbon in these meteorites is contained in the form of these super small, they're called nano diamonds. They're too small to use as gems or in tools. However, they are a source of diamond material. Um, some researchers have found a large number of these tiny diamonds when they were cutting a sample 
from a specific meteorite called Allen Hills. These diamonds and meteorites are thought to have formed in space through high-speed collisions, similar to how diamonds form on Earth at asteroid impact sites. So, um, extraterrestrial diamonds is one thing that these are called because they actually come from space. 